So today, we're going to be looking at these leg positions in all of these um, faster gates. Um, and here we go. Um, right. Now, um, let's start with the hop. The, the, the hop is, is, is going to be pretty straightforward and is, is, is an intuitive gait. And there's, there's one little kind of subtle difference. And it actually is it's a very interesting one. Um, between, between some groups of, of, of animals, there's two strategies of hopping. And um, this can help you with both your um, drawing your mammals and also tracking. If anybody here is interested in mammal tracking, understanding a little bit about some of these hop differences makes a big difference. I'm gonna just look back here and see if, um, uh, see, let's, let, let's actually, first I'm gonna show you something with these, these drawings and then I'm gonna go, we're gonna go for a big screen jack one more time. All right, so the bunny here is hopping along. And what you notice is there is um, a little point here where the bunny is suspended in air, mm, flying through the air. It take, doesn't want to crash its bunny face into the ground, so it sticks out one of its bunny legs, right? And that goes punk onto the ground. Then the next one, punk. So the feet are not landing together. First one, punk, punk, right? And then its body weight starts to swing over those, those feet. And as that happens, the back legs come forward and the, the front legs are actually going to go between the legs. So right here, what you have going on is um, this back leg is coming forward, the back leg comes forward even more, and its front legs are going right through the middle. So the back legs come around and they land in front of where the front legs were. So in this, there are two different moments where the bunny is suspended in air. And both of them are really dynamic moments, right? So here, bunny suspended in the air, it's pushed off and it's sort of doing the super bunny thing, right? Floating through the air. And then it's coming down um, and, um, and it's, 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 it's landed with its two front feet the back feet are swinging forward. At this point, it's pushed off with its two front feet and it is suspended in the air a second time. So this is called, the, this is our extended suspension here. And then here is what's called the gathered suspension, right? So gathered because the legs are gathered together, back feet on the outside, and suspension because it's suspended in the air. And then those back feet land and it's all tensed up and it's going to push off of those back feet for the big hop. So the thing that really pushes it is these big back legs. So um, if I, um, if I, uh, let's escape this for just a moment and we're going to go to the, the big screen jack. Um, here I'm going to pin my video and make this full screen for myself. All right, I want to, all right, I'm gonna to try to turn this so that you can see that stool that's over there in the corner. This is the bunny post, all right? Now, here I am, I am, um, I am the bunny, all right? I'm gonna move this, okay, be the bunny. So if I'm gonna be the bunny, right? Let's start off with Superman bunny pose. I've just finished pushing off my back legs, all right, I'm pushed off those back legs and I'm flying through the air. Now, actually, could you get move this chair because let's move it right over here. So I've just got a little bit more room. All right, so here's Super Bunny flying through the air. All right, now what's gonna happen is I don't wanna smash my bunny face into the ground. No, I do not. So I'm putting my, my legs out in front of me like this. I'm flying through the air and then boom, Boom, these two land on the ground. And now my body weight is coming over those. As that's coming, my front feet are swinging forward. And what I'm gonna do is here's my, my second point of gathered suspension, right? I'm floating in the air, my two paws in the front. 
are between my legs and my back feet come forward and land on the ground in front of where my back, my, those other legs were. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to push off these, right? So I'm pushing off, I'm going to actually slide my feet along the ground. Imagine this me moving forward with my feet planted here instead of me sliding my feet back, all right? These push back and they're now going to push off again. And I'm super bunny floating through the air. So there's that moment of gathered suspension and that extended suspension. The push off, big push off, thank you. All right. Um, so there's the big push off and then papoom, those back feet land. I um, mean, those front feet land. Now, um, the back feet again swing forward, land on the outside of that, and the hop continues. Now, here's, here's the thing that's cool. There is a slightly different thing in what you see animals that climb trees, right? If you're climbing trees, you're all about like, I'm going to jump over to that branch, and you've got to like grab onto things. So the front legs are really good at like simultaneously getting onto things. If you are a tree climber like a squirrel, your hop, those front legs are actually going to work together as a unit. So your little um, squirrel front legs come ba-boom, out, and instead of this asynchronous pump-pump land, the squirrel is going to land with its front legs chunk, together, and then, um, so the front legs land together, and then the back legs, they, they stay together, coming up. <sighs> Hold on. Coming up through the, the back legs. So the front legs together, back legs. Um, and that is the, the difference between the way that the tree climbers, the squirrels, so even, even this is true not just for old squirrels, the tree climbing squirrels, front feet together, back feet on the outside. The ground squirrels pump pump with the front feet like the bunny. So the ground runners have their style of hopping. The tree climbers have their cl style of hopping. So that means that if, um, if you are looking, uh, if, if you are looking at tracks, this is so cool. Um, for you trackers out there, if you see squirrel tracks, and you have big out, um, so here's back feet, right? The squirrel's going in this direction. Remember what happens is those, those if, if it's like this, here is the track pattern from a tree climbing squirrel. The little front feet have landed together, back feet then swing around and push off, whoop, right? And notice the back feet are landing ahead of where the front feet are, because the back feet, remember those front feet then push but, and the back legs swing around them, so the back feet end up in front. So squirrel pattern going this direction. But wait, if you see a track pattern that's like this, whoa, a ground squirrel or a bunny, right? So um, that is the science of the hop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what happens with the um, with, with gallops. And for this, we're really going to need the help of some photographs from our friend Moybridge. Um, and we are also going to take a look at some slow motion video and understand um, what, what is happening with the the positions of the legs in. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna jump over to, here we go. All right, now, um, let's, Let's gallop together, shall we? So with the gallop, there are two kinds 
of ways of moving your body, of moving your legs in the gallop. And um, so what you're going to see up here, I have something that dogs and deer do, and that's called a rotary gallop. Um, we have also a transverse gallop, and the transverse gallop is what is done by horses, buffalo, and cats. So um, this, the gallop is a very, very fast gait. It does burn up a lot of energy, um, but um, so, you know, things like, uh, and, and the, the, the faster you kind of go with it, um, the, the more energy that it's going to burn up. And of course, the, the faster you get to go. Um, if we kind of slow it down, um, there are uh, places where you'll find um, two, um, th there, there are, there, there's sort of one, like, like here's, let, let's check, take a look at this, this little uh, doggy running along here. All right, so it, it's coming along. Here you find, just like you found up here, this is a, a moment of sus where the dog is suspended in the air, right? So this is a gathered suspension. And um, if it is kind of a, running slowly, there is only one suspension in this gate. If this dog speeds up, then what happens is it gets two moments of suspension. Imagine um, this uh, sort of pose right here, but, but, but off the ground. So it can have two moments when it's suspended in the air, again, gathered in an extended suspension. Um, but slow it down and there's just more contact time with the ground. Um, the difference between how the, um, the, the, what's called the rotary gallop and the transverse gallop um, goes is going to be the order of the footfalls. So if I, um, so transverse means cross, right? So the rotary gallop, the footfalls are going to be going in a circle. So it'll be, um, so let's, let's actually look at this again. Um, there you go. All right, so um, we're going to actually start with a transverse gallop, right? And um, in a transverse gallop, so this is the horses, the buffalo, the cats, here's what we're going to be seeing is that um, the from a foot falling on the ground, so that, let's say here's, here's, here's your horse. And if it's standing there, here are the four legs. What we're going to do is um, in a transverse gallop, you're going to go from a footfall here to down here, and then it's going to go up across here to the next corner, and then down here. So there is this point at which the order of footfalls goes from, if we call this one, two, um, three, four, we're going to go um, from here. Uh, we're going to go, um, let's see, we're going to go boom, boom, um, boom, is that right? Hold on, I need to, to, to check something. Let's, let's actually, let's talk to the, 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 the video here. Let's take a look at this. Here is the horse galloping, right? And what I want you to do is first notice, take a look at these, these horse leg positions and see if you can spot, see if you can spot the, the suspended, the, the suspended, um, the gathered suspension, right? 
that little moment of gathered suspension there, um, you've got all four feet off the ground. Let's just take some time and look at the behavior of the front and the back legs now. Take a look over and notice on those front legs, just follow the front legs through all the pictures, right? And what you're going to see is, um, what you're going to see is that those front legs, they kind of, they, actually I can point with this, right? So here the front legs are all gathered up. Then you see them bent and coming forward, right? And then notice that one of them here has straightened out, right? It straightens out and it contacts the ground straightened out, kaboom. Then this other leg, it kicks all the way straight out and then it, contacts the ground, right? And it's gonna stay straight the whole time that it is on the ground. So the front legs are always straight when they hit the ground. They will kind of curl up and then they pop out straight and then poom poom, they hit the ground, right? They're going to straighten out and before they hit the ground, the purpose of the front leg is to make sure that the head of the animal doesn't smack into the ground. And the best way to do that is to be a big, strong post. And so you're going to, with those front legs, boom, boom, post them out, and then roll your weight on top of it, right? They're taking a ton of weight on them. And, um, but notice that they're always these straight posts. So this is different than the behavior of the back legs. Take a look at this, um, the, I'll just sort of point to the back leg here. So back leg, it's coming around, it is coming forward, kind of curled up, back leg hits the ground, sort of straightens out, touches down on the ground. Look at how that back leg is bent like a spring, a big Z. The back leg is all bent up, boom, 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 all right? The second back leg comes down, they're not straight, the back leg has that bend in them. So that is that, that bend that you're seeing is actually technically the ankle joint of the horse, right? As they roll towards the back, it weights the, the pressure on it, and then it starts to straighten. It is pushing off here. So this, this back leg is it's here as a spring, and then it is straightening, and that's pushing the horse forward. So it's straightening so much that it has now gone, once it leaves the ground, it's gone straight. So the back leg, its job is to be, it is the force that's gonna drive you forward. The back leg's gonna come forward and boom, boom, and then push off, right? So the, um, the order of the footfalls, if we have our, let's just ignore that for now, right? The order of the footfalls, it's going to go, the legs are going to kind of cross diagonally. So if we have this, imagine your horse is standing like this, right? The order of these footfalls, we're going to go from one here, right? And we're then going to go diagonally across, you have to just ignore what I was saying earlier, um, to two. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go straight across the bottom here to three, the other back leg, and then up diagonally to four. And from four, you're going to go back to one. So you're getting a pattern like this. Bum, 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 bum. All right? So let's take a look at this as our horse is, is running along. So here comes our horse running along. Um, let's start, let's start, um, let's start. Um, clear, clear, all drawings, there we go. All right, so let's start right here. We're coming down and we're gonna put one foot on the ground, right? 
The next one to come down is going to be this other front foot. So that is coming from, so here you are, this is foot number four on the far side. And then we're swinging around and we're going to put foot number one on our chart here on the ground, right? No, foot number one is the leg that is on the side that is closest to us. So now <clears throat> we are swinging around here. These back feet are coming forward. You notice one is in front of the other, and it's the one that's on the far side of the body, right? And so that means um, that, right, here on the, the far side of the body, it's coming down. So notice this one here, this next one that's come down, that is, it's not on the close side, that's on the side that is further away from us, right? And then the leg that is closer to us comes and hits down. And so that is, that, so that's what's going on with this kind of diagonal crossover. And you're thinking like, this is, this is, this is, this is pretty complex. Yeah. Um, that's why I use my cheat sheet, right? But um, let's take a look here, All right? Um, it's going to be a little bit easier to sort of see these motions if I just take the side that is closest to us and I've colored it in red here. So I've just drawn over all of these, these, these horse marks. And um, just you, let's follow a single leg through one cycle. Right, so here this leg is coming up. Watch this back leg come forward. Watch the back leg extend, right? And extend more and extend more till it touches the ground. It is now in contact with the ground and it is starting to kind of tense up. It is sort of building pressure into that spring. And here we are releasing that spring, right? Push off and it is now starting, after it pushes off, it starts to kind of bend and collect one more time. Bend and collect, bend and collect until you're back here. Front leg, what is it doing? Let's start with the front leg right when it touches the ground right here. Front leg um, touches the ground straight. It pushes back straight, right? Underneath the body straight, back here straight leaves contact with the ground that whole time it's been straight across there, right? Now starting to come up into the air. And you notice it's beginning to bend. It lifts up, tucks in, the knee now starts coming forward. Knee comes forward more, forward more, forward more, forward more. And now we're starting to straighten that leg out again, right? Get it all straight, ready to hit the ground again, right? So that is, that's, it, it, so this at least kind of helps you understand what, if a leg is going to be kind of doing something, this is what those legs are doing. Now what you want to do is start thinking about the legs as, as kind of units. Notice that there is a point in this where both the back feet are on the ground. This is the push-off phase. Imagine that's like the bunny with both of its back feet pushing off simultaneously. But here we're pushing off asynchronously, one than the other, right? Um, at that point, the front legs are off the ground. So this whole time when both back feet are on the ground here, look at this, the front feet are off the ground, right? And now we can kind of go forward in time. Here is a moment where the two front feet are on the ground. Ooh, the front feet are on the ground, but the back feet are flying off. Notice that one of them is more bent than the other. So one is straighter, right? One is straighter. The other is more bent and tucked. So it's not rocking horse symmetrical. There's no point where both front feet are straight out here and both back feet are straight out here, All right? So remember, that's the, the mistake that, that, that Stubbs had made in his, in his pictures, if you have seen the, the previous workshop. So Stubbs would draw them straight out and straight back. And it looked like a rocking horse. And it looked like a rocking horse, exactly, Carolyn. 
So um, now also there are a few places in this gate that really kind of capture this sense of speed of this horse. So um, notice, so just a few cool poses. This one here where um, these two are on the ground and the back feet are straight, right? There you get the sense of like, whoa, we're just flying along here. Um, this is the pose here that all of, that a lot of little kind of figurines of running horses are made because here they can have two feet on the ground. So it makes like a lot of, you know, when I was a, a, a kid, I had little plastic horses and some were in galloping positions. And they would often show the horse in this pose because um, you've got two feet on the ground and so it's less likely to break. There's gathered suspension, right? That's a really, really neat pose. All those kind of, that you kind of really get the, the, the sense that this horse is clearly moving, moving along fast, right? This one down here, were you to draw a horse in this pose, here, notice just this visually, that because this leg is coming straight down like a post, it looks like it is much more just kind of stuck in the ground. This one over here looks like it's going faster than this one. And the reason is that this wall of this leg stops kind of your sense of forward motion. Here, you have the whole sense that the whole one is just mm, flying forward. So just sort of be aware that there are some poses of the horse that just seem a little bit more static. And so if you are going to be drawing a horse in motion, you will find that very seldom do you actually see this gallop pose in a painting. And the reason is it just, it doesn't kind of, it doesn't feel as fast to us. Um, also, this is kind of a neat thing to notice. Let's look at this pose right over here, where there are two, one back leg and one foot front leg on the ground, right? Um, and here is, so back leg on the ground, front leg on the ground. Notice that they are diagonal, right? So one is the one that's on the side that's closest to you, one is on the side that is um, furthest away from you. That's, and I just want you to sort of visually notice the difference between this one and this one. So here in this one, you have a leg, um, that the, the front leg and the back leg are kind of making this arch here, both the ones on the side that are close to you, all right? That's different than what's going on here where two legs are on the ground. Here, both these legs are suspended in the air. So these are the reasons, again, that I love to have some reference photos, right? Um, again, nobody was able to properly draw um, critter legs until Moybridge did his, his fast motion photo photographs. This is, these are some of his photographs here. And this is an example of the transverse gallop. So um, what we're going to see as, as we're about to put um, a video on of a horse galloping, and what you're going to see is <clears throat> with, you uh, sort of expect to see back legs come down, poom poom, right? There will be the moment of the big push off, and then there's a long period of time where it's gonna be kind of traveling through the air. The front legs are going to come down, poom poom together right? And then you'll, you'll find this moment where there is this suspended moment where the back legs are, are most of the way forward, the front legs are beginning their recovery, the back legs will come and they'll hit down. Let's see after looking at this, if this video can make a little bit more sense. It's got exciting music. It makes it more exciting, right? Boom, boom, then the front legs. Back legs, suspended, boom, boom, back legs. Boom, boom. All right, going faster, 
These ones are really, really racing back legs, front legs, back legs, and then it would be the front legs. Back legs, boom, boom, front legs, gathered suspension, back legs. Front legs, gathered suspension, back legs, boom, boom, front legs, straight, back legs, bent, and then pushing off. Now this one's really, really hauling. And so look at this and, oh, oh no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted, let's see if I can kind of, dun, 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 dun. I'll be the action music here. Um, so we're just going to take this one here. So back legs, boom, boom. And now that front leg coming down, all right? Front legs, boom, boom. The back legs are now recovering. Here's your gathered suspension. And back legs, boom, boom. With a photo bomb by that other one. Final one here, front leg, front leg, gathered suspension. So notice here how the, um, in this moment of gathered suspension, the legs are making a nice tight little ball there, but they are not symmetrical with each other. And also the back legs don't come as far forward as where the horse's elbow is. The front legs don't come as far back as the knee. There's sort of a wall there. So in this point here where they're all up, the front leg, uh, if you put, drew a line up from it, it's still staying in front of where the knee is. The back legs are staying behind where the horse's elbow is. So front leg, front leg, and now we're crossing over to, sorry, that was back leg, back leg, when I said front leg, front leg, all right? To these two, all right? Two on the ground coming down straight. So just notice the difference in the behavior of those back legs. When it gets to the back, it is pushing off. Watch that back leg push off. See how the back leg goes straight to push off. But the front leg is staying straight all the way through. gathered suspension, and clip clop. All right. Um, now what we're going to do is um, we are going to look at a different animal, but doing the same gait. All right, this is a film made by National Geographic of a cheetah running, right? And as the cheetah runs, what I want you to do is, um, this, is this is going to, there's, there's some, something really kind of amazing that happens in this. Um, the cheetah, because um, it's, it's doing something that is slightly different than the horse, the legs will be going in the same cycle, the same pattern, and, 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 and notice that there will actually be, because of the increased speed on this, there will be two moments of suspension, a gathered suspension and an extended suspension like we saw in the bunny. We didn't see that in the horse, right? But because of this extra speed here, you're about to see the same foot motions, but there's going to be a moment where the all four legs are off the ground and it's extended. And this is pretty cool, as well as gather. Gathered suspension, 
back legs. Extended suspension, front legs straight, boom, boom, right? Back legs, watch the back leg be straight, land, now bend and push off. Bend and push off. Front leg all the way straight out to land, all the way straight out to land. Gathered suspension. Extended suspension. And what's making this have the extra speed is now let's look at the line of its back. See that curve in the back? See that curve in the back? Now look at that flatten out here. It's coiling and uncoiling its spine to get extra length in each stride. So by arching the back, the spine, the, the front foot, the back foot lands further forward. And then when you push off, you're pushing off with your back legs and your spine. Isn't that crazy? Now, front leg, foot lands straight, bent. Watch that back leg push off. Kind of changing its gait up here a little bit. Notice that here they landed almost simultaneously. It's changing up the speed of its run because it's trying to adjust its legs so the target that it's chasing when it catches up to it, it will be able to um, be able to get that with its front legs. And um, wasn't that crazy? Um, actually, maybe just we'll, we'll just jump back to that one more time, just because um, the um, there's just uh, you know mad props to the photographers at National Geographic. I love you guys, All right? But but just take a look at this thing. Um, All right. So extended suspension. Front legs, boom, boom, straight. Back legs coming forward. One front leg down, the other. See, there's its little target. And missed it. All right, watch the back legs. Here, it's trying to it's sort of changing up its gait so that it can try to get a better kind of tag at its little target. But now it's going to go back into its regular running gait with a really kind of asynchronous. All right. All right. Isn't that crazy, crazy cool? Um, so what we're seeing here is that look at the top diagram. The spine of this thing you sort of see it extended here. So here's your horse being as extended as it wants to be, right? Um, where um, it doesn't have an extended suspension. The cheetah does. Now look, look at the, the spine of the horse here, slightly angled, right? But here the cheetah is just wadding up its spine and then bending it the other way. So as the cheetah is popping forward, you get this extra little chunk of speed. And that's exactly what the dog um, does too. Um, so here is your greyhound running. Look at that kind of arch in the spine. And then it extends. So your spine is Cool how you can animate by going backwards and forwards with the, the little buttons. That, that spine contributes to your speed. So if you're drawing a, a cat running or a dog running, you want to have, there's going to be this additional curve in the spine. You'll really see that when you get into the gathered suspension. And in the horse, you don't have that. So you're A, not going to go as fast, and B, you're not going to have that extended suspension. Right. 
so the final thing here is well, actually the the second to final thing is that um, in the dogs when they're running it's a slightly different footfall pattern right so the dogs are doing what's called a rotary gallop and in a rotary gallop the order of the footfalls is a lot more intuitive let's say this was your just your leg positions it's going to be like this one down to two from two over to three from three up to four and four over to to back to one so its legs are going boom 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 one two three four one two three four around in a circle and um this um let's take a look at this greyhound running thank you again moybridge um look at this so here are the back legs look at this back leg just spring loaded this one just touching down and then it spring loads when you are releasing that tension on that back leg you are pushing that back leg all the way straight right so if you are on your back legs and you are then you straighten that's what pops you up so that back leg right you're going to reach out, touch straight, because you want to just get more contact with the ground. Then it's, as your weight goes over it, it bends. And then at the last minute, as you pr press forward, you are pressing that limb all the way straight, all right? And that launches you into the air. So look, here is an extended suspension in the dog, right? Extended suspension. Look at the front legs now straightening out. Oh, also check out the back hump here. The back hump here, and then the back straight here. The back hump, the back straight. And then here we go. We're going to extend that front leg. It comes down straight, right? The other one comes down straight. Your front legs are straight. And those cross over each other and pass in gathered suspension between the front legs. Right, so if I want to do this gallop, um, I'm going to go here. If I'm going to do this gallop on the cam here, so uh, Amelia, if you could move this way a little bit, right? Oh, okay, actually, they can still see me. All right, so check this out. Oh. Crazy squirrel. I'll put you right over here. All right. So here is here's the the daddy gallop. All right. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to turn that screen down. All right. So um, it's going to be easier for me to to do this because my brain doesn't have to do this crossover. So my back legs are the first one to hit is going to be the one on the far side, right? And then this other back leg is coming down it lands all right those are pushing off now i'm straightening my front legs out this one is going to come in first all right and it touches down it touches down those push off the ground and pass between my legs all right and now the first foot to touch down would be the one on the far side the back one then touches down as those are pushing off my little hunched back i'm stretching my legs out again to go boom boom so it's going to go um one two three four all right one two three four one two three four one two three four Right, so it's going around in a circle. Thank you, man. That was a fast gallop. All right, so boom, 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 um, and let's pop over to share screen. These Moybridge pictures are just, just stunning. What a, what a 
clever resolution. What a clever way of, of, of solving this. Um, I think science is cool. And it's neat to sort of see the, the, the overlap of science, science and art. Um, absolutely fascinating to see these. So then you see the, the whole thing re repeats again, you know. Um, here, you know, your extended suspension. And notice that the back legs aren't um, totally symmetrical. They're not parallel like a hop. One is slightly ahead of the other. The last leg to push off here is straighter. The other one is a little bit more bent. Um, and the, as they come forward, looking a little bit more, more parallel, but then clearly as they're starting to get towards the ground, then that, um, that, that far leg, um, that, that far leg, you can see that far leg right here coming forward, right? There's the, that, that little line there is that far leg coming forward. There's that far foot right over there. It is gonna touch down, it, touch, it touches down first, and it's already hit the ground, now that back leg is coming there. So that is, that is the rotary gallop of the doggy. Um, and the, the final little piece of this is the canter. And uh, if you are um, a horseback rider, you know that the canter has a really different feel. Oh, and Ray Bonto, don't let me forget, I got to have a little bit of camel for you. So we'll do a little bit of camel. Um, um, so, but, but check this out. Um, the canter is a very, very similar gait, but there's one key difference. And what it is, it's with the timing that um, two of the legs have. In this, the, 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 the footfalls is um, bum, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? And if you're galloping, you're feeling balalum, 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 balalum. If you're cantering, you're feeling one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Brrup, 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 brrup. So um, let's see what's going on with that. What is, here's our little buddy. He's cantering along. Again, thank you, Moybridge. And what I want you to notice on this canter, so here is, here's, here's a little extended, I mean, I mean a, a gathered suspension. And notice it's not very gathered, right? The legs are just kind of, bloop, because it's not going very fast, it's not having to like cram these legs forward. The back legs don't need to come very far forward. The front legs don't need to go very far back, right? But what's interesting about it is, let's actually start looking at it somewhere in here. I want you to see this leg that's in the air and this leg that's in the air. We're gonna follow them forward. See those two legs? See those two legs? Notice that they're about the same distance from the ground, right? They're diagonal legs. So this outside, um, um, the, the outside leg on the side that's closest to us, and the, um, far, I mean, the, the, the near side leg here, and it's the far side leg on the other side. Notice that those are approaching the ground, and here they're just about, or they're touching the ground, they've hit the ground simultaneously. So these diagonal legs are moving as a unit, these two diagonal legs. And so now you can, knowing that, you can, you can actually see that um, from here, that foot, that foot, that hoof there, that hoof there, that hoof there, right? They're coming forward as a unit, right? And you see them come forward and they come down and they are going to hit the ground together, right? Here they are again, hit the ground together. Here they are on the ground together again. Right, so again, this is the closest leg on this side, it's the far leg on that other side. And so um, for a bunch of this, those two legs are going to be on the ground, and look at it, the back leg is, is extending, the front leg is, is coming here to get on the ground. So here's the sort of middle 
So you've got two down like this, the front legs straight, back legs bent, but these two legs still here are the little pair. That's what's different in the canter. It's that in the canter, these two legs stay together. The back leg, um, so it's gonna be a back leg hits, right? Back leg is hit here. Then the diagonal legs, then the front leg is gonna hit. Here's a moment where they're all on the ground together. So it goes back, double, then the other front. Now that means it's going to release in the same order. So here's a canter position, all these legs on the ground, but who's gonna release first is back, right? Then the double, right? So now we've got, look at this, one foot on the ground, the back is coming forward, and the double has also lifted off the ground, right? And that's it's going to stay with that back foot on the, the sorry that front foot on the ground all the way until you uh right right before this next foot that back foot comes around and hits the ground again so um before this one is going to lift off you get everybody in the air right but again not a very exciting pose like this little kind of pop up Normally, the gathered suspension looks like super fast and really cool, but notice the gathered suspension in this, it kind of looks like boink, right? So often when people are drawing um, a cantering horse, they kind of are looking over this and they're saying, what is a really dynamic um, pose? Well, this is an interesting one here with where it looks like, you know, we're just, but this looks like the thing is just walking, right? because nothing is off the ground, right? Um, you do get some of these interesting um, poses in, um, in this where you've got one foot on the ground and these other ones kind of kicked back. That's kind of cool. Um, or one foot on the ground and the others kicked forward. So you can have a back foot on the ground, the others kicked forward, or a front foot on the ground and the others kicked back. Those tend to be the two poses in the canter that look kind of the most dynamic. Um, and so again, you can draw any of these poses in, in a canter, but just be aware that if you have something like this, People look at that and they don't get the feeling that they feel like the horse is not really moving fast. But because it's got all, it's got four on the floor, it feels like it's it's static. It's moving, it is moving at full canter speed, right? But it just visually, it doesn't give get that je ne sais quoi, right? Similar here, this one here, this pop up, it doesn't really have a forward thrust to how it's feeling. And it kind of feels like it's going boink and doesn't, there's a lot going on there. But again, visually, when people look at it, they'll kind of go like, eh, is, is, is not, it's, it, it, it doesn't kind of tell your viewer that we're kind of rocketing forward. So either one front foot down and the rest flipped back asymmetrically, right? Or a back foot down and the rest, moving forward. And if you really get into it, then you're tracking the fact that two of those are moving in parallel with each other, that they'll, they'll be kind of the same distance from the ground, that those diagonal legs, same distance down. You'll be able to kind of construct your cantering horse. All right, so here, this is from those, um, five minute of horse lessons, a, a video that they, they did. They have on this horse, the diagonal legs, let me say this again, the diagonal legs are, have the same color on them. So the right front and the um, left rear on this have red on them. 
and it is flipped in um, on, on the other side. So the it's you're not seeing white on one side of the horse and red on the other side. The reds are diagonal, the whites are diagonal. So note as it runs, you can see that diagonal pair move as a unit and then the other one move around it. So here we go. Reds on the ground. The reds are moving, see those whites kind of got their own thing going on, but those reds, they're moving as a unit. See that? Boom, down on the ground. Reds come up off the ground, they move forward and boom, down on the ground, right? Reds forward. Right. Those are diagonal legs. Those red ones are diagonal legs. So um, let's just jump. Oh, not you. Uh, let's just jump um, back here. All right. So here is the pose where one foot is down and the others are flipped back. Jack, I have a clarifying question. Yes. Um, it says trot that you, on the, on this video. Oh, I'm sorry. That is that is what happens when dyslexic Jack. Um, <laughs> okay, just just wanted to clarify. Yes. Yeah, thank, you. thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> yes. Just ignore the words trots in the corner. Um, the uh, that's not done by a mistake by the five minute horse lessons people. That's me putting a clear useful label on the page. Just put the wrong one on there to see if you're paying attention. <laughs> Whoever got that. Thank you very much. All right. So, so this is kind of one of the dynamic poses, all right? So there's one on the ground, and then you could also have one on the ground and everybody else flip forward. So here is, I'm going backwards now, one on the ground, these guys flipped back. See, that looks like we're running. Here, the pop up, everybody's off the ground. This just looks like somebody's got a crane and lifted the horse up. And it's just kind of going like, whoa, what's going on, right? Um, so this, even though it's, you know, gathered suspension, fast pose, not so much in the trot. I mean, <laughs> the canter. Then we're gonna put a back foot down and flip those other guys forward, right? See there, there is a there's a sort of dynamic running post right this is also kind of cool one is still up but the minute um i get all four down here um it's looking it's looking kind of less it's looking a little bit more static all right here one down everybody else flipping up you can, of course, do whatever you want, but I just re recommend that as you are drawing your horses, you try to avoid this pose for the canter um, because it just, again, it looks like it's just being suspended by the invisible crane. Um, there's so much symmetry in it. Um, those back legs are, feel, are kind of looking more symmetrical. The front legs are looking more symmetrical. It's just kind of dangly. It doesn't feel like you're you're doing da ba ba bumps, all right? I like watching those red ones do their thing together. Now watch the what the white ones do. White one posting up, white one hits down. Now the white one is down and everybody else is up. White one is down and everybody else. There'll be these moments where those white ones are down and everybody else um, is, um, where white one is down and everybody else is flipped up. White one down, everybody else up. So that's how I would, would handle thinking about the trot. I mean, <laughs> well, the canter. Um, and those, my friends, are, are kind of essential gates. <laughs>